This is one of the most popular spots to get jerk chicken in Chicago. It's been around for 12 years, and its jerk chicken, which is washed, seasoned, grilled, and chopped, is a popular dish across the Caribbean. Named for the Garifuna people of Central America, Garifuna Flava serves dishes from Caribbean, Latin, and indigenous Belizean cuisine, like panades, conch fritters, stewed meat, and oxtail. I tell people all the time that Garifuna Flava is the best Caribbean restaurant in Chicago. You know, anytime we're feeling, you know, homesick or we just need to eat good Caribbean food, that's our good place. I love Garifuna for a hundred reasons and jerk chicken is very close to the top. We noticed years ago that jerk chicken seemed to where it was getting popular in the city. I usually cut up a nice fresh onion to season up my jerk chicken. Leaving the onion slices aside, Chef Rodi Castillo begins the process of seasoning the chicken, which will then marinate overnight. The dry seasoning for the chicken contains black pepper, garlic, onions, and Caesar salt, and is a mix unique to Garifuna flavor. This is how we've mixed it. I don't know how the other folks do theirs, but this is what has worked for us for the past 12 years. Rodi pours about two pounds of the dry seasoning over the chicken. This specific mix took years of trial and error to perfect. Spread it over. Then we have the jerk seasoning. Rodi puts about half of the container, which amounts to 16 ounces of jerk seasoning, onto the chicken. Jamaican jerk is a versatile spice blend that adds heat, dimension, and complexity to the dish. Then come the habanero peppers. Habanero peppers gives you the spice you need. Some people just cut them up and then dash them in there. What I do is I crush them, round them, kind of not into fine pieces, but, you know, small particles. But the amount we use but this batch does not kick it over the top. So people who don't like too much spice can handle, can, can manage this chicken. Jerk seasoning is multifaceted in that way. It is not supposed to have just one dominant note. You're supposed to taste all those things in yeah. harmony. It had that true Caribbean feel and taste, but just a little different thing on it, where it's not super, super hot, but it's flavorful. And that's exactly what Rodi is trying to achieve. By spreading 16 ounces of the grounded habanero peppers over the chicken and mixing it all together with the dry rub and jerk seasoning, he's bringing out a complexity of flavors. More flavor, onions add more flavor. After this, we refrigerate it and we'll be ready to be cooked in the morning. As one of the only Belizean restaurants in the Midwest, and with only about 500,000 Garifuna people left in the world, Rodi and his son Hossein hope that with their jerk chicken and Caribbean dishes, they can help keep Belizean culture alive. So when people come here and look around, they see images of Garifuna culture. We, as some of the stewards of our culture, have to keep transmitting in any which way the different aspects of our culture. That's critical to our survival. On a daily basis, Garifuna Flava can go through an upwards of 120 pounds of jerk chicken. To cook the chicken, the Castillos use an open charcoal grill. Pretty soon you're gonna see the smoke starting to give you taste. So this has been seasoned for a couple of days now, so the season has permeated it, which will give you the flavor. Because the pieces of chicken are about two pounds each, Castillo says the entire cooking process lasts about an hour. After 15 to 20 minutes, he flips the chicken. So when we flip it over, we do the same thing. Keep checking it. One, the weight tells you something and the color tells you something. Did you say weight? Yes. Right now, this is very heavy. When it starts to change in terms of the cooking process, it decreases in weight. And so there's a certain weight I look for to determine whether it's done. So even if it doesn't have that golden brown color, I can literally pick it up and tell you this is done because of the, the difference in the weight. Not only are color and weight factors in cooking their famous jerk chicken, the distance from the fire is extremely important. If the chicken is too close to the fire, the cooking is premature, meaning it gets brown quicker, they may have the color on the outside, but not necessarily cooked all the way on the inside. When it's higher, you tend to get a better 
wholesome cooking process. Other people tend to use, uh, do jerk chicken on gas grill. Our choice has always been to use charcoal. The different kinds of charcoal gives the food an additional flavor to it. We're almost done and uh, about to take some of these off because uh, they're pretty much ready to go. Nice chocolate color, nice and moist. And the thing is that not too many people know how to do this. Yeah. A lot of people dabble in barbecues, but as far as jerk chicken is concerned, there's a special flavor to jerk chicken. Why we don't typically order jerk chicken from, from lots of restaurants here in the state is because I feel like they use the chicken as a vehicle for the jerk seasoning, right? They put jerk seasoning on top of the chicken. They don't season the chicken with jerk seasoning. Right. Garifuna's jerk chicken, you are tasting chicken that is seasoned with jerk seasoning. So it is good down to the bone. Garifuna Flavors Jerk Chicken is served with rice, beans, and fried plantains, but it can also be eaten with coconut rice, steamed cabbages, and canned yams. The gravy that accompanies the rice is made from chicken mixed with spices, and the jerk sauce comes from the same seasoning that makes the jerk chicken. It's spiced right, it's very, very moist, and it's not super, super hot. Sometimes I think the association with the jerk, the jerk seasoning, that it has to be so hot. And sometimes it's a, it's a hard balance to be able to get that spice and not add too much salt. There's a lot of meat on the bones, you know, it's like a really juicy um, chicken and there's that really nice, like smoky, spicy flavor to it. I love mine with um, the extra jerk sauce. I really like the spice and it just feels like a home cooked meal. Jerk chicken is hard to cook. It's not easy, you know? Like you guys see how hot it is in there and yeah, I'm still amazed that he could just go in that heat every day and, and make it work. Um, it's not easy at all. You are literally in the fire for hours. It's a, it's a solid 9.5 out of 10 today. <laughs> Great job. It's succulent, it's got the flavor, it's got the little spice. Uh, you can dip it in the jerk sauce to add a little extra heat. But it's not just the food that keeps customers coming through. It's the Castillo family's knack for hospitality. There's this stereotype, like, if they act like they don't care about you at all, the food is going to be so good, right? Gary, food, not flavor. The opposite of that in terms of culture. They're so accommodating. They, they consistently taste good. Right. Your experience when you go there is going to provide you with high-quality food that comes from a loving heart, from a man who really wants to share what is Belize? What is the culture? Who are the Garifuna people? How do they cook and eat? This is the reason why they cook. This is the reason why they have the restaurant. Of course, they want to make money, but ultimately, they really want to share the love they have for their people and their island with the rest of the world.